Hello everyone. This is the Foreign Affairs Department at Bundang Police Station. The most important role I have is to help foreign residents in Korea to stay safe. Today, I come here to help all of you achieve this shared goal. From now on, I will you walk you through various types and cases of crimes that you might encounter at any time here in Korea and let you know how to prevent them. The following is the order of my presentation. First of all, I will talk about crimes that are often committed due to ignorance or lack of knowledge. The reason I didn't know is that it's not enough to get rid of crime. That's why it's important to recognize domestic law. These crimes are called misdemeanors, which you will pay a penalty fine for detection. Often there are cases where foreigners are unaware of making this type of crime due to cultural differences. For example, you can see in the pictures. A real-life example is when I received a call from a neighbor regarding loud music at a party with friends. It may seem trivial, but there are points to think about. Recent neighboring disputes caused by noise have led to assaults, injuries, and even deaths. What would this map say? This is a gun policy map. Korea is here. Red means not allowed. In Korea, it is illegal to possess weapons without proper justifiable reasons. And you must be granted permission to carry weapons like guns and swords. What drugs are allowed in South Korea? Actions related to drug-related crimes such as manufacturing, smuggling, owning and administering will be punished severely and you will become subject of compulsory expulsion. Please remember that not only administering but also importing exporting, buying selling, growing them at home, and even possessing the seeds are regarded as criminal acts. Each country defines the term gambling differently. In Korea, all types of games that involve betting of money, or something, valuable, are considered gambling. If you provide a place for gambling it can be a heavier crime so be careful. Next is theft by finding. For example, if you find a credit card, wallet, or a cell phone that someone has dropped on the street, you may not pick it up because it does not have an owner. If you come upon a lost item, you should either put it in a post box, or take it to the closest police station. On the other hand, if you have lost an item you may check at the police station or lost 112 website. If you have lost a passport come to the nearest police station to file a lost report. This picture will help you understand how lost items are handled in Korea. Please note that any item lost will be kept for 7 days, at each institution. Then the unclaimed list item will be heading to the lost and found center of KNPA. Next, is crime prevention in our daily lives. First is assault. Shall we think about? Do people look so angry? If you hit a person even after he or she hits you first, is it a self-defense? Answer is most likely not. If you hit a person even after he or she hits you first, you are subject to a two-way assault crime, not self-defense. It means it's hard to be self-defense. And assault is not only kicking, hitting, or beating other individuals. If you threaten a person by swinging your fist in the air you may be committing an act of assault. Also in Korea. A team of more than one person carrying a potentially harmful weapon is punished more heavily. So if you do not wish to be involved please be wise. If the above scenario happens, please leave the situation and call 112 immediately. Next up is sex crimes. 
I've prepared a video which will make it easier for you to understand. You're still struggling with consent. Just imagine instead of initiating sex, you're making them a cup of tea. You say, hey, would you like a cup of tea? And they go, oh my god, fuck yes, I would fucking love a cup of tea, thank you. Then you know they want a cup of tea. If you say, hey, would you like a cup of tea? And they're like, uh, you know, I'm not really sure. Uh, then you could make them a cup of tea, or not, but be aware they might not drink it. And if they don't drink it, then, and this is the important part, don't make them drink it. Just because you made it doesn't mean you are entitled to watch them drink it. And if they say no thank you, then don't make them tea. At all. Just don't make them tea. Don't make them drink tea. Don't get annoyed at them for not wanting tea. They just don't want tea, okay? They might say, yes, please, that's kind of you. And then when the tea arrives, they actually don't want the tea at all. Sure, that's kind of annoying as you've gone to all the effort of making the tea, but they remain under no obligation to drink the tea. They did want tea, now they don't. Some people change their mind in the time that it takes to boil the kettle, brew the tea, and add the milk. And it's okay for people to change their mind. And you are still not entitled to watch them drink it. And if they're unconscious, don't make them tea. Unconscious people don't want tea. And they can't answer the question, do you want tea? Because they're unconscious. Okay, maybe they were conscious when you asked them if they wanted tea. And they said yes. But in the time it took you to boil the kettle, brew the tea, and add the milk, they are now unconscious. You should just put the tea down. Make sure the unconscious person is safe. And this is the important part again. Don't make them drink the tea. They said yes then, sure, but unconscious people don't want tea. If someone said yes to tea, started drinking it, and then passed out before they'd finished it, don't keep on pouring it down their throat. Take the tea away. Make sure they're safe, because unconscious people don't want tea. Trust me on this. If someone said yes to tea around your house last Saturday, that doesn't mean they want you to make them tea all the time. They don't want you to come around to their place unexpectedly and make them tea and force them to drink it going, but you wanted tea last week. Or to wake up to find you pouring tea down their throat going, but you wanted tea last night. But if you can understand how completely ludicrous it is to force people to have tea when they don't want tea, and you're able to understand when people don't want tea, then how hard is it to understand it when it comes to sex? Whether it's tea or sex, consent is everything. And on that note, I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea. The point here is that sex crimes are all acts that are done against another's will and makes one feel ashamed. Sexual violence includes all acts that violate another's sexual self-determination. Sexual assault refers to all types of sexual acts that are conducted against the will of another person. It is a broad concept that includes physical, verbal, and emotional violence. In sexual violence cases, most of the perpetrators are people who have known each other. And most victims try to hide their damage. And recently, male victims are increasing. We're punishing sex offenders in Korea, as you can see on the screen. Recently, camera use has become an issue. I would like you to remember that if someone takes a photo against another's will and makes one feel shame, he or she can be punished for taking a photo. Next is dating violence. It is a crime behind the mask of love. Violence is an unacceptable crime for any reason. Why most of sex victims try to hide their damage? Victims must be protected. The important thing is to protect yourself from sex crimes. In order to do so, you have to express refusal and ask for help around you.
in the case of sex crimes. You should not take a shower and keep the clothes and underwear you were wearing at the time unwashed and report the incident to the police immediately. The important thing is to protect yourself from sex crimes. In order to do so you have to express refusal and ask for help around you. If someone around you has been the victim of sexual assault, listen to what they tell you and help them receive consultation. You can also turn to women's emergency call or the Danary call for help. Stalkers face heavier punishment under new law from 21 October, 2021. Stalkers can face up to three years in prison or 30 million won in fine. The punishment could be aggravated to a maximum of five-year imprisonment or a fine of 50 million won when a weapon or other dangerous object is used. Stalking has traditionally been defined as approaching, following or blocking a victim against his or her will or waiting for or observing a victim. The new law stipulates these acts can also be penalized when done via online channels. Continuously and repeatedly executing these actions will be considered as acts of stalking. Next is voice phishing. It's a kind of a fraud. Voice phishing is when someone calls and imitates a bank, post office, or police officer to tell you that personal information has been leaked and then asks you to go to an ADM or requests personal or financial information. Please, remember South Korea investigative or financial agencies do not ask for your money and personal information. And if this happens, you can receive counseling in three ways as on the screen. Payment Suspension Report 112. Report Phishing Website 118. Damage Consultation and Refund 1332. Have you ever heard about the word withdrawal man? It is a person who withdraws the money that has been wired by the victim and deliver it to the fisher. As this withdrawal man gets punished together with the fisher, so you have to be cautious not to be involved as a withdrawal man for a fee. On the screen is a body caming scenario. If someone first suggests sex, meeting under conditions, chatting, then asks you to download an application through Kakao Talk or SNS Messenger. This will leak your personal information at the moment of installation. Then he or she may threaten you about informing this situation to contacts on your phone. In this case, you can use the Citizen Conan application to check and delete militia shafts on your smartphone. You may receive these text messages by phone. And biggest preventive measure is not to press the URL included in the text received from an unknown number. In addition, there are many fraud cases where you are asked to pay a bigger cancellation fee after purchasing something online or through a gaming site. A typical case of this fraud is that the buyer transfers money first and never gets the promised products. You can check if your deposit account number and contact information have been used for fraud. So you can view it through the internet portal site or CyberCap app, the cheat site. Be aware that using other person's passbook is illegal in Korea. If they have your name on the bank account, they can cover up for the crimes they have committed through the bank account.
However, you may be responsible as well. Please be careful not to lend someone your bank account or withdraw money on behalf of someone else. If you do, you may be punished for fraud. Be careful if you have to exchange money to another currency. If you send money abroad without going through a bank for the advantages including cheap commission and cash withdrawal, you may be punished. Foreigners exchange money through social media because of the low exchange fees. But, they are often scammed by currency exchange through social media. And criminals are using illegal exchanges for money laundering. Even if you are qualified to drive in your home country, you are not qualified to drive in Korea. To drive in Korea you have to obtain a Korean driver's license that fits your vehicle type. This is the last topic. So, what should you do in the case of an emergency and in need of a police officer's help? The police reporting number in Korea is 112. If you do not speak Korean well, you will be connected to an interpreter. And then, we will help the interpreter and the police officer solve the problem. In urgent situations, foreigners may be embarrassed to talk, or in a hurry, to explain about the current location. This is a very useful application. And in case of an emergency, a police officer can be dispatched quickly using automatic location detection. You can type emergency report 112 at the Google Store or App Store and download this application. When you report crime to the police, it is helpful to give the exact location. Their tips lets you know where you are. And you can say I'm on the subway, and this subway number is 7243. In addition, for consultation on information while living or staying in Korea, please contact the Foreigner Information Center at 1345. On 1345, you can get language services from 20 on 1345. You can get language services from 20 countries. If you need an interpreter to seek domestic help, please call this number and get help with the interpreter service. This is all we have for today. I truly hope today's presentation can give help to ones who need it. Thank you for listening. Next, we would like to briefly introduce you where to find information and how to respond to various disasters and emergencies. In the orientation book, Chapter 7, you will find the Disaster Safety and Accident Prevention Guide. We will not go over each part in this orientation, but please take the time to read the section. Here is a short video clip that teaches you about CPR. Every day, I'm watching a book in the house. 이상한 소리를 듣는데요. 소리를 따라간 민주는 그곳에서 의식을 잃은 아빠를 보게 되고 당황한 엄마는 옆에서 정신없이 울고만 있었습니다. 그때 학교에서 배운 심폐소생술에 떠오른 민주는 엄마에게 신고를 부탁한 뒤 아빠에게 심폐소생술을 시도합니다. 며칠 후 아빠는 민주의 심폐소생술 덕분에 무사히 의식을 되찾을 수 있었습니다. 앞서 보셨던 재현은 2015년에 실제 서울 송파구에서 있었던 사례인데요. 이 사례에 나온 심폐소생술에 대해 알아보도록 하겠습니다. 심폐소생술 시 의식을 먼저 확인하고 의식이 없고 비정상 호흡을 한다면 즉시 주변 사람에게 신고를 요청해야 합니다. 그리고 환자의 어깨 옆에 무릎을 꿇고 앉아 가슴뼈 아래쪽 2분의 1 지점에 있는 압박 지점을 확인하세요. 심폐소생술을 시행합니다. 한 손바닥은 압박 위치에 
다른 손바닥은 그 위에 평행하게 겹치세요. 가슴을 누를 땐 가슴과 맞닿은 손바닥의 아래 부위에만 힘이 들어가도록 해야 합니다. 압박을 할 때는 깊이가 5에서 6cm가 되도록 강하게 1초에 2회 정도로 빠르게 압박합니다. 이때 심폐소생술을 하는 사람의 팔과 바닥이 수직이 되도록 하여 체중을 이용해 압박하세요. 30회의 가슴 압박이 끝나면 인공호흡을 시작하는데요. 인공호흡은 반드시 전문교육을 받은 사람만 시도해야 합니다. 전문교육을 받지 못했다면 인공호흡 없이 계속해서 가슴 압박을 해주세요. 한 손으로 턱을 들어올리고 다른 손으로는 머리를 젖힌 후 입안에 이물질이 있는지 확인합니다. 그 다음 머리를 젖힌 손에 검지와 엄지로 코를 막고 환자의 입에 가슴 상승이 보일 정도로 호흡을 1초씩 2회 불어넣어줍니다. 이후에는 다시 가슴 압박을 시작합니다. 이 심폐소생술은 환자가 깨어나거나 구급대원이 올 때까지 계속해 주어야 한다는 것 잊지 마시고요. 무엇보다도 실제 상황에서 당황하지 않도록 평소에 반복적으로 연습하는 것이 중요합니다. 이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이